All right, Neo Soul TV here at ABFF 2019 in Miami, Florida, and we're all about the soul, all about the just the vibe and kicking it and laying the scene. Y'all, tell us what were you listening to as you pulled up today? Like, what's the top song of your playlist? Oh, um, I'm Jamaican, so I was listening to Destra. I dare you. It's a little bit of soca, so I like to listen to that when I'm going to a fun event. Okay. That's my thing. Yeah. That's amazing. That's a very good choice, actually. Soca. Yeah. That's. that's what were you that's, listening to? Um, local music. Like. Uh, I don't know the, the words that were in the song because I don't speak Spanish, but no, I, seriously, I try to be where I'm at. Like when yeah. in Rome, you know, you I want to listen to the music the place. Absolutely. Little, yeah. yeah, but no, see, I don't want to get into too much of a party mood on yeah. the way because okay. then you won't be able to shut me down. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, you know how I get when down. You turn them on, you can't turn them on. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> All right. So what are we looking forward to most tonight? And a key takeaway from just ABFF 2019 here in Miami. Um, I mean, well, we do want to win the audience award at wow. the award show. Mm. That would be a lovely thing. But the takeaway is just the appreciation that we got chosen. People saw us. People appreciated us. Um, at the screening was amazing. Everybody enjoyed it just as much as we enjoyed making it. Yes. So that was really heartwarming for me to experience that. Absolutely. Um, you know, for me, it's just really good to see all the faces. Um, I've known a lot of these people for a lot of a few years and um, no just to see the growth even even the growth of the ABFFs over the years I've had projects in here before and um, you know I just see it getting better and better yeah, yeah. Awesome. let's start by telling us your names Alan Cole and Tanya Brown so tell us a little bit about yourselves I love her most of the time when she's not being annoying <laughs> I hear you brother so why don't you tell us how you met? Well, we're kicking it with Neil Soul right before the ABFF Best of ABFF Awards. Um, so his and the truth comes out soon. Wait for the, 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 wait for the, yeah, yeah wait, wait yeah. for the announcement. But I'm working on some shorts right now in LA that's coming out in other film festivals. Still doing some writing, stuff like that for myself. Absolutely. Um, uh, shouts out to Neo Soul. Right now we're working on his, hers, and the truth. I can't wait for you to see the trailer if you haven't already. Like she said, we're going to be making an announcement really soon. Um, I also have a UMC series coming to Amazon Prime called The House Divided. Uh, look out for that. I think it starts like next week. So Hello. we're on it, man. Some entertainment powerhouses here. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to pass the mic to these mans. They don't need an introduction, but we have Dorian Wilson. His, her, in the truth. That's it. All right, now let's talk more current project. What was your most exciting, I guess, moment with this project, with this film? Uh, well, for one, uh, this gentleman right here, he's our writer, director, producer, uh, Coke Daniels. Um, the script is phenomenal. Uh, everybody can uh, relate to it. There's his version uh, of what happened, hers, and somewhere in between lies the truth. But I'm going to let this man break it down for you. Um, but I enjoyed the, the whole thing. It was um, a, a family affair. And so we had such a good time just laughing and, and, and producing and, and uh, putting this project together. It's a labor of love. Awesome. How you doing? I'm Coke Daniels, writer, director, producer of His, Hers, and the Truth. Um, yeah, like Dorian said, it was a, you know, it's a kind of on and off relationship between two uh, mutual friends. Well, they're, you know, casual friends at first. They end up falling in love and out of love. So it's kind of an edgy romantic comedy is what I kind of set out to do to, you know, do something that would appeal to both men and women alike. Um, everybody could laugh. Everybody could cry together. So um, mission accomplished. We did a great film thanks to this amazing cast and crew. And it really came together. And we've had a great time at BFF. I mean, ABFF. I said BFF. <laughs> uh, very warm reception for the the film um it's been a great experience man oh, look, Hi. no i take you home fine yes but don't try any funny things don't try me yes you no don't, you don't touch, touch me. me no you don't touch you me you don't touch me you don't touch, touch me, me. <laughs> i was good you know i put it down but um she was all right oh my god the sex last night was horrible she was slobbering all over me Ooh, i like a little wet and wild no, but it wasn't like the sex was kind of rough. It was like, like rug burns on my- Oh, Jesus! when a man talks all mannish. Baby, why don't you talk to me like that anymore? 
And I think we all like vibe together or relate together through music. So tell us, when you got out of the car today, when you pulled up this evening, what was that song on your top, the, at the top of your playlist? Well, I was in a limo. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, yeah, Eric Benet is always on my playlist. Uh, I love the dude's voice. He's a good dude, and um, that, that's my type of music. I'm an old, old school, and uh, that's it. This other yeah, we were, yeah, we were listening actually some Biggie and Ice Cube and debating who who's the top ten rapper and why Tupac's better than Biggie and vice versa. And that's what that's what we rolled up listening it to. Battle. It, it was, was a battle. battle. We almost started battle rapping amongst us <laughs> just to prove a point. So yeah, yes, With exactly. Ice cream. Yes, ice cream V's in the house.